Hi everybody, welcome back to another edition of Simple Cooking. Today's a special one, it's our third one, and we're doing a recipe that the Simple Cooking blog has never seen before. It's my, mom, my mama's awesome meatloaf. Yes, and this is a meatloaf like most of you probably haven't seen. There's no ketchup or barbecue or A1 in this meatloaf. This meatloaf is made with cream of chicken soup. And you'll see how in a little bit. What you're going to need today is a pound of burger, an egg, a package and a half of uh, crackers, and a can of soup. So you're going to go ahead and start off by crumbling the crackers in and mixing it in with the meatloaf. You mean burger? Yeah, burger, meatloaf. Mixing it in for the meatloaf is what I meant. You want to make sure that you're doing this in a nice deep bowl, it will get messy. Lots of people like to add spices and other things to the meatloaf. Um, dried onion is very common. It, it's really, really good. That's what my grandmother likes to add. Um, she makes hers with an A1 sauce inside it. I'm not going to lie. My mom made this my entire life this way. I didn't find out until I was in high school that people made meatloaf with ketchup and that that was the normal way of doing it. Which is kind of weird considering that I was not a sheltered child. I just didn't know. Okay. We'll go ahead and add our egg in too. Just mix it all up in there. Obviously, you want to make sure that you've already washed your hands and they're nice and clean, which I have already done. I didn't think you guys want to sit and want to watch me wash my hands. This is how we want it to start looking. Meatloaf is one of the easiest things in the world. There's a lot of preconceived notions about it, but it can turn into a not dry, very tasty meal if you know how to make it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and fix it into our pan. I don't have a Bread pan is usually what is used. My mom uses an 8x8 brownie pan. I don't have anything like that, unfortunately. So mine gets spread out into my little casserole dish here. All right, let's go ahead and wash our hands. Washing, washing, washing. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds cold, dude. Um, yeah. Even if your burger is room temperature, it's still cold. The egg does not help. Alright, so now we just go ahead and spread on our cream of chicken. Uh, I forgot to mention, because I'm a herb dessert, you want to make sure you're preheating your oven to at least 425. Any lower and it's going to turn out icky and soggy and watery and we don't want that. I don't know what brand of soup your families prefer. We always use Campbell's. I one love time, Campbell's. One time, just once, 
my mom tried to substitute for a generic, I think it was flavor rate or something. And my dad and my sister and I could all tell. And she's like, I never did it again. <laughs> so no one ate the... No. Well, we had to. It was the only thing we had to eat, but... It was yucky. I don't know. I just, I'm really picky about canned soups, and I don't like... I just don't like anything other than Campbell's when it comes to canned soup, but that's me. Okay. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and I need to lower my oven rack. It's hotty hot. Yes, it is. I forgot how high I had it when I was making cookies. That's better. Go ahead, set it in there. It's gonna take um, variety, different amounts of time, depending on the type of pan that you have. Um, just keep your eye on it. Check it periodically. You know, fork and knife saw into it. Make sure that it's got pink in there because you don't want your burger to be pink. Especially with meatloaf because there's egg in there and you want your egg cooked all the way too. So check it periodically. Once it's brown and hot all the way through, you should be good. And I'll show you guys what it's supposed to look like when right. it's done. So it's been about half an hour. Um, in this pan, that's all this meatloaf takes to make. This is what it should look like on the top. Kind of a, a nice yellow. You know, it's, it's almost as if the it's developed a skin. It's kind of what we're looking for. So we're going to go ahead and cut into it. Oh. That hurts. Yeah. It's hot. Oh, it's raining. So apparently someone wants a sneak peek because someone's calling you while we're shooting it. It's probably Chelsea. And you see it's nice and browned even though it's tipping, but that's how we want it to look. There it is everyone. Looks like I'm gonna eat so much again tonight, just like last night. Right? Yeah. You guys have no idea how much I love this. There we go. Nami. Nami. It's so good. Take a bite. Oh, hot. <laughs> mm -hmm. But so, so good. Um, if you're looking for side dishes, green beans is one of the best things that goes with meatloaf. Especially this meatloaf. That's it. You know. Really easy. Five um, minutes to mix. Roughly half an hour to make, depending on the size of your pan and the type of pan it is. Really easy periodically check it. I checked this once in the last half an hour and that was it. So, Mama's deliciously awesome super meatloaf. First time featured in Simple Cooking, be it a written vlog or a vlog. So, thank you Mama for the recipe and you guys will see you next time.